Martin rang up and they said, it's all off, uh, they've refused entry to you and the journalist, you can't do it. And I thought, I said to them, well, if I can get in, will you let me do the story on my own without the journalist? And they said, well, yeah, if you can, if you can talk your way in. So I developed a relationship with the people that ran it on the phone, explained what I wanted to do. They said, look, we've been, we've been really let down by the media. You know, each year they say they're going to come and they're going to, and they always abuse us and take the piss and humiliate our members. Uh, but we, okay, we'll, we'll let you in on your own. And so I flew to America and did that story. Then I had this great burden as well of being there because I didn't want to let them down and uh, all those sort of things. But, but the art of that was to convince them to let me go. You see what I mean? That was what I brought to it as being a photographer, whereas someone else might have just not done it. And what do you think said about this subject, about actually trying to find your voice visually? Is, it, is there a, a short cut to that, or is there no, something I mean, we were looking at? There are shortcuts, like in the commercial world, again, we were talking about that. I often find that the, the advertisers like people with a very distinct style. They're like, ooh, it's all toned, this colour, and it's high contrast, and it's this. And they, they want to sort of buy that style for their ad. And I personally don't like that concept that you would try and kind of define yourself with a style. But I do think that if you sort of follow your own interests and subjects that interest you and, and approach them in a way that feels right, if you do that enough, something you start realising that you're photographing things in a certain way or a certain, you're following certain subjects and so that kind of style... So that, that kind of style work. develops? I think it comes out without you really trying too hard. But it, but it, it takes some years, I guess, to try different things out and find things that feel comfortable. But I don't think you can overthink it. I think you can... You, the problem is, with being a photographer at the beginning, is you overthink everything. And you try and you dwell on all the obstacles and all the problems. And I do it now. You know, I'm starting another project. And I just think, how does it work? Who's going to pay for it? I can't, you know, I think of getting a flight somewhere. I think, oh, I don't really want to. You know. So you've got to take that deep breath and just do the first thing. And I found, even on a computer now, when I... When I've got a project that I'm not quite getting around to, and I just make a Word document and I title it the name of the project, and it's just this blank sheet. But actually, having made the document and it's on the desktop, it's almost like the first step. Then you write a paragraph on it when you have a thought. And if you can start off without overthinking it and just start adding bits to it, it somehow develops into something. And that's, I would say, the only trick. <laughs> yeah, I can offer. Well, I have to say, thanks very much, Ed, for Cheers. giving so much time and so much good advice to everybody. Um, if, oh, thank you. Um, if anybody's interested, as I said at the beginning of this, we do have copies of the magazine of the a past issue from earlier this year, which are available over on the counter for a one pound each, with the Z interview in it and some examples of his work and also contact of his website. Uh, we will be following up this interview with an interview with Peter Dench, who is a works in a very similar way actually to Zed as a, a photojournalist, but he's also um, very uh, uh, generous with his time as Zed has been. Um, and he'll be giving um, some advice and telling us about his experiences, uh, very much as a UK-based uh, photojournalist. And I think that that's at two o'clock. So if you enjoyed Zed, uh, I really recommend you come along and uh, you hear Peter to hear what he's got to say as well. But uh, thank you once again, Zed.